Hi everyone, this is a reading with me. I hope you are doing well. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through and what messages I can give to you. So we will take a look and if this resonates with you at any point, let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video by click, uh, pressing and clicking the thumbs up button. Okay, let's have a look. Wild card. Temperance, Major Arcanas, oh yeah, look at that, Star card as well, I've got so many Major Arcana cards, whoa, Two of Swords, okay, so there's a person here that is very confused about the connection with you from what I am picking up on, so we've got that Two of Swords which is that indecisive energy, we've got the Six of Cups which shows that they have romantic interest towards you, Seven of Wands is their chaotic sort of trouble where they feel like should I go towards you? Should I not? Should I progress towards you? But I'm not stable enough. You know, they're just very wibble wobble, a bit all over the place. It's a challenge for them. Um, not because you're an amazing person, but actually because they sometimes don't know if they deserve somebody like you. And that's really what I see here with the world and also the temperance energy as well. They just don't know if you, if if they are good enough for you. They don't know if they deserve somebody like you. They don't know if they can... Um, you know, hold on to somebody like you, not because, again, you're not amazing, but because they just have really not a lot of experience with someone who is so mature, understanding, caring, loving, genuine, generous, you know, they, they just don't have a lot of experience with someone who is so, wow. Does that make sense? Like, when I say, wow, you are very wow. <laughs> you really are. And um, it just makes them feel like they are just not, you know, not good enough. Um, you know, I feel like they've been asking for some kind of help on this. I also feel at the same time that they really see you as someone who is amazing. You know, someone who just gives a lot, does a lot, is always very proactive, is always very understanding. Someone who's just constantly going above and beyond to do the most you possibly can and five of wands definitely shows that they've tried to ask for some answers especially with the five of swords and the five of wands okay this is pure confusion like because the thing is they like you so much they feel so so drawn towards you they are very physically attracted to you they are also very emotionally attracted to you they have this sense of like you're a warm teddy bear for them and they just, they, lo they love that, right? But then they get confused thinking they're not good enough and that they have to find someone to their level and they feel like you are so much above them, you know? And, and then that starts to scare them, it starts to upset them, it starts to freak them out. And they've tried to ask friends about this. Um, there's, you know, and their friends kind of don't really care, to be honest, if I'm being honest. I mean, there's like one person here who can be quite supportive, but then the rest of them seem to be not very... Um, so, you know, they've tried to ask friends and it's just a bit all over the place. And then they've tried to also, apart from one friend, I feel like one friend here is quite good, but the rest of them, because, you know, it's like one against so many, you know, and then you kind of think like, oh, one friend's just saying this, but then all the rest are saying that. So they get confused, but it's almost like they've had a dream and that's the star energy coming through. They've had a dream here and they've tried to just ask for some kind of sign because everyone's sort of saying everything and they don't know who to believe. They don't even know whether they can trust themselves. So it's almost like they have said, God, someone, please help me see what is this situation all about? What do I need to do in this situation? Is this person for me? Should I progress things? Should I not? And they seem to have gotten a very balanced dream, okay? Six of Pentacles is a dream. Six of Pentacles is about them realizing that actually, do you know what? This is something quite special between you both and that it's quite special between you both <laughs> and that <laughs> it's quite special between you both. Have you noticed in all three of these cards, first of all, you got scales in two of them, okay? Um, the other element here is that both of these, sorry, not both of these are Venus, Venus energies. And then on top of that, there's a sense of um, twos, right? This is 
two in the sense that you've got the scales and the two sides. This is two with the two uh, lovers and the two cups. And then we've got the scales, which is the two sides as well. So they're feeling like there's something really balanced between you both. There's something special. They've got a dream in which they saw both of you living together, building a life with one another. It made them feel really happy. It made them feel balanced. A lot of their problems and solutions were really well supported because if they were going through difficult moments, you've always been there for them. Um, it's made them feel supported, not challenged. It's made them feel understood, not disrespected. So they've clearly had a dream here in regards to you that has made them think, wow, like there's something really special here between us both. And I should probably not mess this up. Hmm. Okay. So three of cups, four of pentacles. Wow, okay? So they've clearly asked above for some guidance on this. They have received a dream which showed both of you living a beautiful, happy, fulfilling life. Four of Pentacles. Then they wake up and they think, oh, maybe that's too good to be true. Maybe that's just me envisioning something. So they ask again. And this time, what I feel here is that in some kind of social gathering, social situation with family, okay, someone here has said, hey, don't you want to settle down and have love and have a beautiful, equal, mutual, beautiful relationship with someone that loves you and cares for you and someone that's there for you that you can go traveling with, you can live life with, you can share sorrows with, you can share everything with. Don't you want to live that kind of life and be happy? And it's almost like in that exact moment, they thought about you and they take it as a huge sign, okay? So not only have they asked God, the universe, you know, through some form of prayer, they've, they've asked, okay? Even if they're not religious they have said like please just please anyone anything send me a sign they've had that dream but then they've thought hmm that seems a bit too good to be true then in a social family gathering someone here has just sort of brought up the conversation and they've thought now that has to be a sign that has to be a sign from the universe god you know the whole realm of things this has to be a sign and they are now thinking, wow, I have received some solid signs and they outweigh the chaotic energy of their friends, okay? Because they received two major signs very quickly after asking for it and they're starting to feel like both of these cannot be a coincidence because they both align to the balance of the situation between you both, but also at the same time, it makes them feel like it's positive, right? There's, there's nothing negative necessarily that they are finding out here. And as they think about your energy, again, they're not negatively judging you. They are not negatively responding to you. They are not being negative towards you in any way, shape or form. In fact, they feel so positive towards you, okay? That they are breaking down their old walls. They are breaking down the walls that they had up, the pride and the ego that just stopped them from being themselves. It is truly coming down. I mean, the tower here shows that the conflict energy is going away. It is disintegrating. That Mars energy is literally fighting itself and disintegrating. And we've got here Venus energy. Okay. Mars turns into Venus energy. And the page of swords here shows them then proactively pursuing you, communicating with you, being consistent towards you, being concise towards you, being decisive towards you. You get my point. You get my point. Okay. And with that, then comes progress between you both. From what I pick up on, boom, Venus energy. <laughs> this is progress. This is love. This is a sense of them pursuing you, understanding your value and realizing this is what I want to do. This is what I'm going to do. And no one is going to stop me. That card literally just went flying halfway across the room. So there you go. Okay. They are in a mode of awakening, a mode of progress, a mode of moving in the right direction and I'm moving in the right direction to go get that card even though my chair is okay hold on right I'm back again <laughs> with the queen of cups okay so queen of cups energy as I just knocked over my water bottle we're really on a good you know we're on a good track here I feel with everything going wrong okay <laughs> queen of cups only knocked over the water so um we've got water energy here with the queen of cups this clearly goes to show that they're they know that they want you okay they just needed some signs from the universe the universe gave them those signs they then felt confident with those signs and now they are ready to run towards you to change 
things around to progress things with you and to make more of a move towards you because there was someone in their family that brought this conversation up and I feel like they trust that person right they they trust that person with something else that they have said towards your person in regards to work so I feel like in the past your person was confused about something in regards to work and this particular family member gave some really good advice that genuinely changed their life okay and now randomly out of nowhere when they were asking for a sign in regards to love this family member just said something and it has stuck with them okay it has stuck with them it is something that they are like yeah okay cool I, I i get it i get it i get it i get it i need to do something about this and so they will do something about this okay i don't know what else to say except you will be together um <laughs> they will every this changes everything okay because now they're not scared of marriage and commitment and he you know all of this kind of stuff they're not scared of healing they're not scared of doing their own thing in fact they want to progress towards you they don't want to be stuck in their own ways they want to move things along um and if this reading resonates with you so far don't forget to check out the description box below um moonlight shopmoonlightguidance.com is where i have all of the personal services readings items um there's intention um what do you call them intention items which are things like bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards sage bundles teas these are handmade meditated with and sage and there's thousands of five star reviews at the bottom of my website but on there there's also personal tarot readings rituals to manifest different areas of your life for love money success marriage career healing etc and yeah everything is literally there for your convenience but the most beautiful thing here is that you know this changes everything they are wanting this now they are wanting to proceed with wanting it something more long term so that's you know naturally them they are going to progress in this particular direction towards you for this and not be so scared and thinking like oh i don't know if i can don't know if i'm ready don't know if this is something i want like they will be ready they will proactively take action towards you and they will make things work with you and that is something that i really do see here um they obviously did ask and they received and the good thing here is that they take action on what they received not just like blindly like oh i don't know you know wow okay so that's what we have here um if this resonates with you of course don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below check out the description box below like i mentioned um i also have tiktok and instagram as well i post short readings on there every day if you want to follow me on there feel free to do so um, moonlight.guidance on instagram moonlight guidance on tiktok and i will see you all very soon Bye.